They've also got like the most abusive bottom lane in almost the history of League of Legends. Caitlyn Zyra is so much focused, so long range. It's going to be very hard to deal with when you're a puny 500 range Lucian, strong as you may be. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rough stuff right now, but Santorin able to invade into the top side of the map, and now a pressure in towards the mid lane. Bit of damage on a ninja. A nice knock and forced to flash away, but he might just die anyway. GBM just making sure he has the damage output, but, but no, he actually doesn't. Ninja survives it somehow. We'll see if they can make anything happen, though, with this small win that they still do have. Blue buff attempt. How about this one? The damage coming across. Proxen wants in, does not get the fight, but he does get an Akiba kit. Plenty of damage out there. Heal and flash use the save, but now Proxen too far up. A first blood, a great ulti in from Santorin. Squas. And a late teleport in from Quas. Can he find someone else to kill? Ninja running away with Ghost on, but he's slowed down. Now attack onto the side of the map. Quas low, and he goes down. Lot picks up a kill. Ninja staying alive, but no. The chase comes in. GBM gets himself that kill. Now pushing Lod back to his base. Be careful, because the flag queue is up. He was with 400, but now Lod wants back in the flash. The chase down. GBM overextends, and Hakua makes some pay. Now the flash in. Seraph wants the chase. Can he get the damage? Wants OQ. One more hit gets the shield. And no, not just yet. Kiwi can actually draw. break the Q. The body slam as well, slowing him down. And now Seraph almost goes down. A two for two overall. Energy got the first blood. Now a pretty close oh, okay. trading kills. Proxen flashes. Gets a knock up. Three is just going over. Envy taking out the advantage, actually. Maokai on the other side of the map, but he, yes. he should join. He has teleport, but he's still not casting it yet. 1,000 health left. Santorin going for the steal, and he's going to get it. Santorin smites are on point. That is his, and there is the flank. Quas is it. He wants this one. Ulti's popped up. He's the front ult. line. And a huge ulti in for Santorin. The ulti popped by Seraph to stay alive. Proxy gets out just barely. And despite the explosive casket, wasn't enough. But be careful, Ninja. He's got a kite away. Thankfully, someone blocks the bullet for him. No kills picked up, but hey, dragon uh, energy, good stuff. Let's see him trying to push a little though, right here. That blue buff. Yeah, he wants in and can look for maybe a flash explosive cast. GBM nearby, doesn't have any real CC to speak of yet though. But it forces the flash out of Hakuho. So the envy support missing now. The ability to reposition or get away. Ninja had also Ninja. burned Ghost. Yeah, GBM still in the flank. Quas here as well. They really want to force Envy around the map and get him off of these turrets. GBM buying so much time, but careful for the gravity wall. He's going to get stunned up. Lot on the wings. He's going to slide for now, but here comes the re-engage. Looking for the burst. Looking for GBM. He gets rooted up. Pops and is staying alive for now, but his Q is not empowered yet. Half just to flash away, and Quas is already dead, having not the greatest series so far. Ninja looking for someone else to deal damage to. But here comes TP. Well, here comes the play in towards the top river right here. Plenty of damage on a GBM. Jumping away, Lot has to flash up, but it's already the kill on Oki, who got caught out and surrounded. And now it's all about what Vladimir can do. We're jumping into the front line, the empowered Q is up, flashing forward, still goes down. Does trade a kill back though, Hakuho, and he trade him back and forth. Centaur forced to run, it's now Ninja and Seraph pushing it on a quaff, pulls him back in with the evolved gravity well, doing exactly what you would think it would say by the name. And it's now Quas again, stunned up by Seraph, picked off three kills to just one. Big advantage, Envy. Yeah, this is going to be Baron for Envy. A huge fight there. Certainly feels good, but here comes the play. A teleport flank coming in from the Maokai. They've got to make this one happen. As the Baron buff is timed out, but there's nothing to be done with this one. He's got to retreat all the way back in. Now GBM is actually the one behind as well. He's teleported in. Can he find the play to make? They go into the front line. Centaur and Hake taking a lot of shots and gets taken out. That's one gone already. Envy could just wipe this match of nice open Cyril, right though. now. Yeah, doesn't matter though as there's another kill picked up. Lod takes out the second take as Quas has hit the dirt, turned into mulch. A couple of Envy chants in the crowd. And yes, nine to three in kills. What a great fight. Max CDR. He's got cooldown boots. He's got the ability to make the plays, but now it's on a keep again. Oh, he's just gone. There is no chance he's going to survive. His first death of the game. Not really his fault, but not getting much done. Ninja taking a crit to the face, though. 679 damage from a single attack from OQ. Uh, Gragas is diving in. It feels like OQ just can't keep up, and he's actually getting zoned out of the fights by the Echo. They're not together as one cohesive unit. Looking for the play right now. Looking for the push on in. There's no Zyra right now. It's a 5v4 and in goes Envy. Looking for GBM pops and He's already done with the pool. He's queued what he can, but the health bar is not going to last for much longer. Running, running, running for his life, and he will survive it. Siphon's back 900 HP, but OQ is already dead. Zyra's Deleted by enough. Ninja on the backside. Hakuo now rooted up, and Zyra should be back into the fight a little bit, but does it even matter? Well, they picked off lots, so maybe it does. Energy trying the best they can to turn it around. Proxton's low. GBM gets that one, and suddenly Ninja and Hakuo have to run. Santorin pushing 
forward, looking to get a bit more GBM done. is an absolute hero in this fight, and now he's going to come around. They should be able to pick up this kill on Hawkwo, wow. and I cannot Eventually. believe that Vladimir stayed alive. GBM hard carried that fight. He says we're not going to lose, at least not yet. <laughs> oh, they're certainly going to try. There's plenty of Atacama movement speed for the other members of the map, but right now it's Seraph seeing hey, all things are happening. Win. Yeah, Prox wants to join in as well, so at least three members of Envy. Can they make this happen right now? You've got the whole energy lineup. They're all five. Kiwi Kid dangerously low, though. Here's a flash engage, and they've picked off Ninja. One for zero, but Lot is now in the fight. Can they get anything else done, though? Because here comes GBM, and he wants to make all of this happen. And Akko trying to put down a little bit of slow, a little bit of shield to buy a little bit more time. Proxy, though, beset by a lot of bullets, a lot of damage. And this low comes out from Santor, and it's still only the one for nothing so far, but Quas tanky enough to get his job done, survive, and just root people up in the front lines. Envy running away, and looks like the rest of the members will live. And here we go. On to Baron Nasher once again. Ninja is dead, has to run across the map. 8,000 health left on Baron. They're killing it so fast thanks to 80% crit. But maybe it's a smite fight. Proxen is here. He's got the ward across the map. From Seraph. They go for it. Seraph wants in as well. And they're going to go for the play. It's the Baron Nasher picked up by the blue team. That is energy wearing the Baron. And now Proxen stuck in the front line, dropping down. That's the kill picked up. And finally, a bit of production out of OQ. The 5v4 Santorin, though, in the front line, taking the damage. Shut down, goes through to Hakuho. Now it's a 4v4. The revive coming in. Seraph, he's going to survive. Guardian Angel's going to be just fine for him. He's back up. He's back across the map. But four Baron buffs plus the gold on energy. If you lose Baron and then you lose the fight here, you lose the game. You probably do lose the game. GBM looking for the flank. And he gets right onto Lot. Plenty of damage on the solution. Cutting back over to the left-hand side. Zarelty knocks up a couple. Hakuho survives the encounter. GBM at half, but he can now heal himself. Does it so on the Dragon. Proxen forced back. He's rejoined the fight thanks to being Rek'Sai. Being there first routine, there's no smite to contest. They can rush this down. They're going to, and he's not going to miss it. There's the big Dragon buff. And it's huge, by the way. Three Dragon buffs means this is a very large Look at burn. The burn on but Quas. can they have it happen? Quas getting deleted. Pops the Guardian Angel. Seraph's got to run for dear life, but he has Here comes the ultimate up to heal himself back up. Bit of burn coming across. Law doesn't want to dedicate to it. And they're going to back away. Rift Scuttle actually buffing up energy. They can run away. 7,000 gold lead by Envy. Doesn't really feel like it. As either team can win these battles, but they're looking for the play, looking for a bit of damage, and Seraph wants to go in right now onto GBM. Plenty of damage on this Vladimir. Quas wants to zone him out. Now on a Santorin, he's going to burn the death, and Vlad takes him down. Now GBM to the back line. Nice careful. And he's running out of health. Q picked up already, and OQ has a field day now, hitting whoever he wants. A double kill for the Caitlyn, and suddenly Envy realized, yeah, we've been off more than, the, than we can chew. A 4v2 on the map for energy to work with. I get absolutely wrecked in the last of that fight. No, nice try here by Seraph and Proxen to buy time. They need that 30 seconds to pass for their team to respawn, so they cut back onto the minion wave. They at least buy 10 seconds. That's not bad. It should be enough, actually, mm -hmm. for Envy to save all their structures, and it means now that Energy just has to play the wave clear game and also the catch Seraph game. Yeah, good little play there, but if Seraph gets caught on the way out here, it's going to no, be he, bad. He has no GA. He is done, so he's going to ult, but he's one hit away from dead. OQ might not shoot the deputy, but he's certainly going to shoot the Sheriff. And one more hit as he's kiting. Back and forth. Down he goes. Kill picked up. OQ, good job. Gets the solo gold. It's still a minute until that Echo respawns. And here maybe is the fight even before the Baron buff. Proxen trying to block body slams. Make sure his team can stay alive because of the push onto the backside. Ninja taking some damage. Hakuo oh, eats the eight in the hole. And oh man, GBM low on health. Pops his Zonius has to flash away. He will not die just yet, but he's maybe out of the fight on this one. Quas stunned up, forced to run away. Look how low health GBM has. Seraph wants in, but he doesn't have the damage. He's got to be careful. Guardian Angel popped though. Oh, he's back to stay alive. GBM but GA, the minion. maybe just till there. Oh wow, GBM hit the wrong target. That is rough. And it means the Guardian Angel is saved for Seraph as he flashes away and stays alive. Now the mid lane is the target. And here comes the flank yet again in from Quasi. Wants these guys, and he's going to knock in Ninja. This has got to be really scary for victory. He's going to drop down. Centaurin gets the kill. And now who else can be the target? Centaurin is low, but it's going to be a Guardian Angel. He's okay for this one. Into the back lane goes GBM. He's picked up Hakuho. He wants even more, and he pops his in. He's at a really good time to not drop down to Seraph. A two for nothing is a great start to this fight for energy as OQ puts in plenty of damage, hits up Seraph for a little bit more. He's going to be okay to recall back, but this could just be Baron. Now here comes the TP from Seraph. Seraph and Proxen, they want to make something happen. They don't want to give up this Baron. But Seraph actually got trapped up, and he's getting chunked out. Down to 3,000 health. Baron Nash on a 6,000. This is going to be an attempt. They're three versus five, and energy is a little bit low, plus missing ultimates. Baron Nash, 4,000. 3,000 left on it. They're still going for this one. Santorin does not yet have the ulti to knock back. Goes Proxen, Proxen. up soon, and he's going to go for the play on towards Rex side. The attempt, a great smite by Santorin. Picks it up, pops the Guardian Angel off the Rex site, and they're going to leave him out to die. There there is nowhere for this Void Monster to go, and knockout doesn't matter. A Rampage for GBM, extended by three kills, and a Baron for energy. Now we talk about records here, and 
Definitely a long game right here. 52 minutes in and looking to knock down the mid lane right here. Inhibitor under fire. Dangerously low and it does get dropped down. Great use of the Baron buff so far. Active on all five. Two minutes still remaining on that one. Here comes the teleport. Floss in the front line as well. And you've got GBM running in, but you've also got Seraph wanting to go for it as well. 4,000 health left on this one. Boss the front line. Gravity well stuns him up. He's not dropping damage from anyone else here in this one. And Seraph, who's getting blown apart. Look at Ninja, though. Angel. He's getting soloed out by yeah, GBM. He's getting crushed out by GBM. He flashed away. OQ gets the kills and stop with the trade it back in the mid later. It's a four versus four, and they might make it okay on this one. Santorin walking forward. OQ can't chase through the gravity or the laser either, but they just turn right back in towards the Elder Dragon. 5,000 health. No attempt to stop it, and that's going to be picked up. Oh, it's going to get reset. Now picked up, now secured. Blue team has slain their own Elder Dragon. It's timing out right about now. You can see the little orange buff on Santorin's bar. Tick, 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 and well, school's out for summer. Here we go, Santorin pushing forward. Elder Dragon times out, but it's the turret taking plenty of punishment here. Gold though, basically identical. It's how you play these fights right now that matters the most. And the turret going down just for Santorin being beefy. Of course, Quicksilver Sash no longer removes Vladimir ultimate things of the of that ilk, so he can't get rid of Hemo Plague. But now looking for the play onto the Baron. It's Envy going in. Santorin, though, knocked around Ninja, but there's not a lot of follow through. It's Quas going forward, and his GBM running in as well. And now Seraph's got to run. He is injured. So is Hakuo. And GBM. He's destroying the backline. He is killing everybody. Death Cap, Void Staff, so much damage. All the ability power you would need for. Two kills already picked up by energy. What a great team fight. They just cannot deal with GBM. He gets in the back line and instantly Ninja and Hakuo are out of the fight. They're getting completely decimated by GBM and his flanks. He's playing beautifully and he is showcasing the power of the new Vladimir. Oh, this is great. Oh, and a 1900 heal off that Q on the Baron. 1900 Why heal, not? Not, not a big deal. Let's get ourselves another Baron buff as well. No real chance for a smite steal. At this point, they we've changed death here, climbers though. throughout the season. Are pretty long. Right, yeah, we've changed throughout the season. They're, they're shorter for most of the game. At this point, they're on full power. Like, it's yeah. like seven hours long. If you're dead, you're just, you don't respawn anymore. It's it, it's permanent deathmatch now. It's hardcore mode here in League of Legends. But here now, into the base they go. And by the way, they're not even alive yet. It's a 5v3 for the first bit of this one. The first turret goes down. The next one's Ninja's in up. their sights. But here comes Ninja looking for the play. Seraph's in there as well. Tanky as he can be. Quas trying to retreat, and he survives for now. Big shield comes out from Hakuho, and they keep the other turret alive. There's still two and a half minutes of Baron to work with. Botlin and Hip goes down. Energy, though, will retreat, not getting too much more out of this fight. Out they go. Kiba Kid taking a little bit of culling. Beyond that, there's another one. There's the reinforcement. Still 40 seconds on this Baron buff. Looking for top lane. And Envy's got a fight. I mean, the waves are pushing in. Their time in this game is running out. They got to pick a fight, and this is going to be it. 30 seconds of the buff, and they just delete GBM. Yeah, the chain stun was there. That's so huge. So in goes Envy. Seraph already lost the Guardian Angel. Santor, though, under fire, dropping dangerously low. And is there any follow through? Look at the Proxen. Nexus, though. Proxen does not have any good tunnels to go for. It's going to be an easy recall. 18 seconds left on the Baron buff. And they, I'm not even sure they're going to save the turret. It's going to be close, and it oh. does go down. The minions take it out, so there is no defense left. There are no turrets at all. Old Wrecker is even more useless than normal now for energy. Envy have no base defense. 12 seconds on GBM. At this point, Envy's damage is faster. They could probably just crush the dragon, but guess what? It's the Nexus. There's no turrets, and here they go, doing their best impression of Echo Fox, just running down the map, looking for the push into the Nexus, and by God, they have some damage output. Energy going to just close the game out on this one. GBM is there. There's OQ. No one's going to stop him. This should be the Nexus unless a miracle happens, and it won't. Game two goes to Energy, and this series will go the distance. <laughs> what a game. I know. And what a way to end it.